All right, welcome to the Triple P Podcast, Pizza Party Prep, the health and fitness podcast for the non-professional. We're just some dudes trying to establish some healthy habits and do better. With me, as always, is not Mr. Zebulon Dak, but one of my best friends, Chase Burton, and our special guest, Chase's own personal trainer, the man of many hats, trainer John Wellborn of MyTrainerJohn.com. How are you doing, man? I'm doing really well. Thanks for having me on here. Yeah, I'm definitely excited to uh, to talk to you. Chase has always had amazing things to say, and um, and I want to you know thank you. Uh, knowing Chase for a long time and you know being a good friend of his, I've seen him go through uh, you know many cycles of getting on and off the uh, you know the awareness of his health, and uh, and this recent you know stint of his. Uh, it's been different. I feel like I've seen a, a switch in him, you know. I feel like there's been a shift and that this time it's different. And uh, I'm super stoked and I know that you are partly responsible for that. So, excited to have you. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, and yeah, absolutely. He's. Uh, I've, I've been working with him for over a year now. And uh, yeah, definitely I would agree. This time's different. Sometimes you just need that paradigm shift. You know, once the light bulb goes on, you know the rest of the rest of the story is drastically different than the past so it's kind of cool to watch on my end of the court it's fun, it's fun to watch that unfold so yeah yeah man and uh i'm, I'm interested in what it's like working with this guy <laughs> he's a pretty passionate person <laughs> i'm gonna keep the story as, as minimal as possible just for his, uh, for his, better. his care but that was just some, maybe but uh <laughs> um it it's great working with him. I really, you know, um, he keeps the energy, keeps me on my toes, which I always appreciate. Um, sometimes, sometimes when we're doing something like this, where you know a change this this significant is, we're looking at a year, you know, year and a half, two years. Um, it, it can kind of feel like a sport. Eventually, you get kind of you get kind of tired of doing the same thing over and over again. So um, it's it's good to have that. That spark that a little bit and uh, um, kind of keeps the monotony and the, the boringness out the door. Keeps it fresh. Keeps it fun. Um, yeah. What? Sorry. Kinda... What? What keeps it fresh for me though is honestly like, I mean, since you've taken over your own spot, you left. Uh, we won't say the name of the gym, but you left a pretty big, big corporate corporation of a gym, right? Mm -hmm. And you got your own spot, and it was like from day one, dude. Like the workouts changed. And it mm -hmm. wasn't machines. It wasn't like high priced equipment. It was some kettlebells. It was like simple bands. It was, you know, we had one row machine, you know, squat rack or whatever, a lot of body weight stuff. And that, that's where it, like a lot of stuff changed for me, to be honest with you, um, was just this kind of new approach. And it was like kind of everything I kind of wanted to do, like focus on mobility and more like, utilization versus like being big and bold like obviously i was big enough right so like to find that like high balance like these high intensity workouts that we went and have been doing sure. for a while now like yeah i just want you to kind of touch on kind of what we've been doing as a class and a group and like the names of these workouts that we're doing you know the high like get your heart rate redlined and you know that whole kind of that system of your approach you know, sure. So. Um, yeah, well, I do my, my darndest first off to make sure that I meet everybody in the middle, you know, chase, um, in compared to, in comparison to somebody else is drastically more in shape than someone else. And then perhaps drastically less in shape than someone else. So you got to make sure that everybody's in the group can, is able to do everything that I plan on doing. Um, now there's modifications for pretty much everything you can think of. But when I made that shift, I opened up my own doors. I got my own storefront. Um, my doors opened a lot as far as what I was allowed to do. When you're in a corporation and uh, you're under their insurance, and you kind of have to abide by their rules. And there was only so much that I was allowed to do um, right. for multiple different reasons. Um, and then uh, shifting over to my own spot, I was allowed to open up those those you know those gates and really show everybody who was in those groups a different avenue and a different aspect of what it is to actually you know work out when it comes to fat loss man i'm just not a big i'm just not a big believer in machine work i mean it comes 
down to calorie consumption, like how how much can I get to burn, and uh, how much muscle to activate in these beautiful machines. So, hand in your hand, or just what the big guy upstairs gave you, which was gravity. If I can just teach you how to teach you how to maximize. That, that usage, you just you learn so much more. You can learn how to implement so much more. You more result a lot faster. It makes me happy. Makes me happy. Um, and it, it just works better for us. And so uh, things like um, AMRAPs, which is short for as many rounds as possible. You have a time frame. You got 15 minutes to do this. I want to see if you can self motivate yourself to see how many rounds you can get of these five exercises in those 15 minutes, you know, um, and someone who's new, just trying to figure it out, might get two rounds. Someone who's a veteran might get set rounds. Um, right. Obviously rounds you do, the more, you know, muscle you're going to be utilizing. So the more, more calories you burn, but everybody's at that different stage. So it's a nice way to, uh, to challenge, you know, yourself. If you're the one being, you know, being the uh, scene, able to step back and just kind of watch you guys work in an, in an environment like that um, is fun to design and they're really, really challenging their body. So it's fun to do that. Um, you can do hip style training, which just stands for high intensity interval training. Uh, you can do, um, you can do slow uh, muscle development exercises, which I like to flip in there every once in a while to, to work on muscle tone, muscle definition, things like that. I mean, there's just uh, there's an endless amount of things that that I have the potential of doing. Um, it's it's just it's so much easier to work with you guys in a setting that belongs to me than it is to follow the rules of a, of a corporation. So just well, yeah, lets me open up the floodgates a little bit. And it sounds like your style is kind of more of like uh, just keeping the muscles kind of shocked and doing different things and kind of uh, instead of getting into that same pattern, you know which I really enjoy and uh, which kind yeah. of brings me to it. And Chase can, Chase can, uh... Oh, I think I'm losing you. Hello? Oh, <laughs> sorry. Uh-oh. Yeah, well, had a little glitch. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> we are in the Matrix right now. So. It's true. <laughs> No worries. Though, you had a question, Abba? Oh yeah. Um, sorry, that glitched out. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> so one thing that I wanted to ask you, you know, is like, uh, you know, for what is your biggest suggestion for somebody that maybe hasn't worked out or hasn't focused on their diet at all, you know, in a long time, maybe even years? Like, where do you even get that person to start? Um, and it depends on a couple different factors. One is what it, it all comes back to what their goal is. You know, even if someone hasn't worked out in 30 years, um, if they only have 10 pounds to lose, it's going to look a little bit different. If they have a hundred pounds to lose, that's going to look a little bit different. And so just kind of assuming, um, that the American average is kind of in, in between a little bit in the middle. So assuming someone had 50 pounds to lose and they have never worked out before, and this is something completely new, um, I would start with trying to teach them how to follow five rules, um, which is mostly nutrition stuff. Um, eat less, move more, drink more water, which Chase does a really good job of. Um, and there's equations. For that. But, uh, yeah, he is, seriously. Um, drink more water. Um, try to eat balanced. So, you know, eat a protein, a carb, and a fat all together. Never eat a carbohydrate by itself. That kind of stuff. Um, sorry, my phone's beeping all over the place. Yeah, totally. Put it on vibrate. Very, very basic stuff, um, and that comes down to an acronym that I really like, which is KISS, which is just keep it super simple. Mm -hmm. um, for someone mm -hmm. who's never done any of this stuff before, the worst thing that I could possibly do is overload their brain oh, with, right. with information. <laughs> yeah, pick one thing, work on it for like four months until they get really good at it, and then pick another thing. Yeah. Um, and so yeah. I, try, I try to keep it simple as best as I can. Yeah, like um, – example of that whole keeping a simple thing like i would always come to john and be like man i need you to set my diet and like man all this stuff you know and i'm like getting frustrated because i'm not 
you know, I'm overcomplicating things. And that's a huge point to this fat loss stuff is like it really doesn't have to be so crazy. Mm -hmm. It can. You can nerd out. You can go down the wormhole on YouTube. You can Google all you like. But basically it is. You just move, you eat a little bit less and you eat better, you know, more or less, you know, the water thing and like the, you know, just basic walking. Like I at my heaviest when I went to the doctor before I met John, you know, they put me on blood pressure meds. They put me on antidepressants, the whole nine, right? Like I was a old mess. And the doctor, like I remember her assistant was like simply like, hey, man, like just go for a walk every now and then, you know, like, and that clicked like three years later. And this is, I'm talking like two months ago. It finally, after a year of paying for personal training, after trying every like new little diet craze, low fat, high fat, no carb, you name it. Right. And it's just like that basic little switch went off. And pounds just legitimately just start flying off me. You know what I mean? And like John John and I were talking about that switch that happens. And Mm -hmm. Ab and I have been, we've been really talking about that a lot lately. Because, you know, as you know, John, this is Abba, Don. And he's the guy I go hiking with. And we do the Triple B podcast and all that fun stuff. So so John's heard a lot about you too, Abba, and vice versa. So I'm glad you guys got to meet on the internet. (laughs) The Um, Matrix. And to kind but of that, like, but that's spawn, you know, kind of add on to uh, to what Chase is saying there is, I kind of correlate this with with language. If you come to me speaking Mandarin and all I do is speak, speak English, right. we are not going to communicate no matter how well you know the sentence is. You and I don't understand each other. So from my point of view, everything comes so easily for me because I've been doing this for nine years. But for someone who's spent the last 10 years being flooded with YouTube videos, blogs, diets, and all these, all this other stuff that all contradicts each other. And then they show up and you tell them to throw all that stuff out the window and just walk or to just eat a little bit less in each meal. Uh, it, it, it just doesn't click for them yet mm-hmm. because yeah. it's been bombarded with so much <laughs> info. Um, and you're sitting there saying, just, just relax yeah. and keep it simple. And More or less. Like, like <laughs> and, just stop stressing over like how fat you are. Well, you'll lose weight. It's crazy. And a little bit of that too. And then once they start speaking your language um, and you know, they start learning uh, what it is that you're actually trying to get them to understand. It's it, you start to see that, that shift of yeah. just um, of emptiness, you know, it just becomes so easy um, I mean, really, all I needed Chase to do was eat a little less and be a little bit more active. And the moment he started to realize that it could be that simple, he lost 25 pounds in a month and a half. Right. So. And, and, and that's another thing, though, real quick. is like you can go to the gym. You can go to a personal trainer. But that's only like anywhere from a half hour to an hour out of your entire day. And if you only do that three days a week, that's only – maybe upwards to two hours, two and a half hours out of your life. And if the rest of the time you're focusing on cheat meals and, you know, like I've been, I went to the gym this week, so I'm eating a pizza on Saturday, you know, like then you're just focusing on that stuff and you're really, it's really easy to get caught up in that whole thing too. Like I, you, John, are not going to be the guy who makes me lose weight. I am. And like, that was another big point I had to come to terms with because there was moments obviously through this journey where I'm so frustrated. I'm like, what am I doing? I feel like I'm just flushing money down the drain, which is, (laughs) you know, and that's nothing against you. John's prices are really good. Go see him, everyone. Um, But, uh, but yeah, that can be really frustrating too. And I think as far as like your perspective of being a personal trainer, you got to feel that, like that resentment and like that resistance from your clients also like yo just chill out like you can't hold my hand i see you an hour and a half out of my entire week so the rest of the my time is my time and if i'm only putting in 30 minutes a day monday wednesday friday probably not going to see the best results if you're not doing all these other things like drinking water doing mm-hmm. getting active getting outside more my biggest thing was like isolation we all know that if you watch these and just simply just going outside a little bit 
going for a walk after work or these little things that are outside of your comfort zone and maybe your normal routine, your body will relax. And when your body relaxes, obviously your cortisone levels and all that stuff go down and you stop retaining fat and water and you, and you start utilizing it, you know? And I think that's a big thing for a lot of people. Like there's a ton of people obviously that were in my situation and this is a constant battle for me. You know, this, this isn't like some quick fix. Like I'm going to have to keep on this routine in various forms for the rest of my life. Obviously it's going to change with age and injury and, and weather and things, but you got to realize like it's a constant preparation, you know, like meal prepping, thinking about what you're going to do in the week's time, using your time as far as working out and diet. And for me, like, it's 90% diet, you know, 10% effort, 90% diet. And diet is the most mentally challenging thing ever because mm-hmm. at eight, nine o'clock, once the sun finally goes down and you kick your shoes off and you already ate two hours earlier, a, you know, a snack sounds pretty good, you know, like, you know, it's hard. It's hard to fight through those things, but it's really important. So like long story short, like, I think that's really important for if anyone's listening to this, like, is like having that self restraint is good, and suffering a little bit is good, and like being sore a little bit is good, and I'm uncomfortable, you know, because it forces you, before you realize it, like, and like I'm in a better mood, or or whatever it is, you know. So I think all those things are, it. That's been my biggest thing, and that's been really nice, and I'm glad you guys have noticed it because, I truly do feel better than I have in a really long time. And I, and I owe you two guys in particular, a lot of that because John, um, you probably don't know this, but ABBA a year year ago through AA and a bunch of like self reflection and with drugs and alcohol, like a lot of us have and, and things and really turned his life around and like (laughs) became a man at his job, like a bunch of stuff and started working out. And I saw this, and I've always been competitive in my nature, you know. And I've always loved, and I've always loved working out, all that stuff. I did, you know, and I just lost myself. And seeing my good buddy really go through some hard times, and and keep his head up and pull himself out of it, and always coming out on top, was a huge inspiration for me because, like, you know. It's like, man, like, I want to hang with my boy, you know, <laughs> on, on top of everything else, you know. Thanks, man. I, I just, you know, that, having a buddy in a buddy system is, like, I think really important, too. But anyways, that's enough about my <laughs> stop. Well, uh, no, we Shut should. Up there, red face. No, we should, uh, we should probably wrap it up. Um, but we'll have to do this again. We'll have to have you on again, John. I really appreciate it. Um, hopefully we won't be so glitchy. Um <laughs> and uh chase man i'm really proud of you um i'm looking forward to you know just keeping this thing going and doing more um yeah, john, man, so course. john you're at mytrainerjohn.com and um anything else that you want to plug or uh let people know about actually i switched all my social media is my trainer john um so you can go to instagram just go to my, my trainer john and i'll pop right up but my uh email uh, my um Website is fitnesstrainerjohn.com. Believe uh, it or not, my trainer John is taken. So, uh, well, everybody that just went there, stop. <laughs> <laughs> Don't yeah. go there. You're not gonna find me. Go to fitnesstrainerjohn.com. You'll, you, I'll pop right up. Um, but yeah, um, thank you guys so much for having me on here. I really appreciate both of you guys' time. Um, and I, I guess the last thing I would say is, if, if you know the people who are listening to this, if you have a fitness goal, you have something you're trying to accomplish the best possible thing that you can do step number one is to get somebody in your life who knows what they're doing to help you mentorship is the number one thing that's going to keep you successful um, you get somebody in your life who knows what they're doing and knows where to take you your chances that, uh, of succeeding go up 76 percent like that instantly and so in the course of you know in the course of fitness and health and a lifestyle change you want somebody in your corner so that's my number one uh, suggestion and you like, want fitness trainer John. Appreciate it. <laughs> yeah go hey. work out with me and if you're in the, john if you're in the gresham yeah. fairview troutdale area um come and find me i'm more than happy to help you awesome yeah dope well, hey john i'll see you tomorrow for a workout 
<laughs> I'll be there. All right. Thanks, guys. Y'all have a good night. All right. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Later, too. Guys. Thanks, guys. Later, guys.